I'm going to be demonstrating how to calibrate a vernier drop counter. I have already connected my drop counter and my pH sensor in my graphical analysis software. To begin the calibration for the drop counter, in the graphical analysis software I want to click on the sensor actions tab here for volume. Then I can calibrate the drop counter and all the instructions are written out here. I need my 10 milliliter graduated cylinder lined up to accept drops from my reservoir and I want to make sure that when I deliver water from the reservoir into the graduated cylinder that they're going in at about one drop per second. This will give you the best results for a titration and so we should be emulating that in our calibration. And I'm going to re continue with this process until the volume in the graduated cylinder is between 9 and 10 milliliters. And then I will put that final volume that I read in the box here. Now I've sped up the video recording here to eight times what it was, so my drops did not just magically increase. The video has just been sped up because otherwise it um, would be very boring to watch. So again, you want to make sure it's being delivered at about one drop per second until you are between 9 and 10 milliliters in the graduated cylinder. Now that I've gotten between 9 and 10 milliliters in my graduated cylinder, I can stop the drops by turning the valve and now I'm going to read the volume. It's 9.2 milliliters. So I'm going to type that in my software over here, 9.2, and that gives me a calibration of 21.74 drops per milliliter. This calibration is not stored to the drop counter. So to save me some time in the future, I wanna write this number down and then immediately once I get into the software, go into this manual tab and type that value in there. Click apply. My drop counter is calibrated and I am now ready to begin my titration.